I'm Clinton Luckett, ballet master at American Ballet Theater. In the next few minutes, I ask you to look closely at this painting by Renoir, on loan to the Frick Collection from the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. In it, we see a young dancer standing and looking over her shoulder. Renoir shows this dancer standing in what is called fifth position. Fifth position, in which the feet are fully crossed, is the fundamental position of classical ballet. All of classical ballet technique is derived from this position, and a dancer's life is spent trying to perfect it. Every dancer, then and now, does what Renoir's dancer appears to be doing here, standing in profile before a mirror we don't see, pressing her skirt back to study her feet and legs, checking her fifth position. In this evanescent atmosphere, we cannot tell where Renoir's dancer is actually standing, whether in a rehearsal studio or on a stage. In either case, Renoir's dancer is just a young ballerina, caught in a moment, holding a handkerchief and brushing back her skirt. She may be taking a glance in a mirror before going on to execute a classroom exercise or rehearse a particular piece of choreography. Or she may be looking at someone such as myself, a ballet master, to show him her progress towards a perfect fifth position.